Hi everyone, uh, this is Jennifer from Jennifer Prisco Photography. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video. Um, I'm hoping it's one of many. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to start making some short videos, um, little tutorials um, for things that work for me as far as editing goes, um, some behind the scenes, pullbacks from my newborn sessions, things like that. But today I'm going to show you a quick um, tutorial of how to do a cloud overlay. So this is an image of um, a session I did at the beach. And as you can see, this happens often where the sky is just really blown out. You can't see any detail. Um, there were some clouds, but we didn't have the most gorgeous sky that night. So I'm going to improvise a little bit and I'm going to do a little bit of a cloud overlay. For those of you that don't know, an overlay just means something you're going to put on top of the photo and blend it in. It's just a picture of a sky, um, you know, of my choice that I'm going to put onto this photo. So I start with, I use Apple Aperture and I use Photoshop Elements and I'm going to, um, I did some basic adjustments in Aperture and then I'm going to bring my photo over to Elements. Now I already have my image open here and then I have my cloud overlay that I want to use. All this is, is a picture of a sky. Um, you know, it's got a good, um, you know, resolution on it good pixels, it's big enough to enlarge, so it's something that I'm going to use to put on this picture. So I have my windows free floating and I'm going to take this guy and I'm just going to drag it over here and then I'm just going to get rid of this. Let's see if, okay. Now this is, um, what I'm going to go through here is what works for me. Um, there are a million and one ways to do a lot of things, the same thing I should say, in Photoshop. So you know, if you have a quicker and easier way to do something that I'm doing, um, please share because I would appreciate that. So I'm going to make this at least as wide as my picture. As you can see, um, it has opened up in a new layer over here automatically just by clicking and dragging. Now you can turn down the opacity mm -hmm. of the layer. Um, if I pull it down here, it's at 100%. If you pull it down, you'll start to see the, the image behind it come through. So I'm probably not going to put these clouds on here at full opacity because I just think it's too dark for my image. My image is kind of bright. And then I'm also going to decide what part of this image I'm going to use. I really like this, you know, orangey tint that's coming through from the sun. So I think I might put it right about there. And turn it on and off. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. So now what I'm going to do is create a masking layer. Masking layer, you can create it by clicking this little box up here, add a mask. And then over here it comes up with black or white. Um, and this particular layer, black, is going to cover up what I don't want to show. So I'm going to use the black. I'm going to choose my brush. Um, I'm using a pretty soft brush. Sometimes I'll go onto a hard brush, but not always because I think it's a lot harder to mask that way. Especially when her hairline, a soft brush is going to, uh, going to work a lot better. So what I'm going to do is go back to my masking layer here and go to 100% opacity and I'm just going to paint. Now obviously we don't want it in the water so we can paint it off there and I'm going to go back in and I'll paint it back in. I tend to, to over erase. Um, well, it's not really a racer, but I tend to overdo it and then I'll go back and adjust. Now zooming out can help um, see exactly you know how it's going to look on your picture. Turn it on and off. Okay. making my brush smaller here. I'm going to mask this off of her hair. Now this button over here, uh, I don't even know what button it is. It's under the delete. I'm on a Mac. Um, it's the little button. I think it's a backslash. If you click that, it inverts it and it shows you kind of where you've painted on or where you've masked, I should say. 
you can also use it for what you know when you've painted now I have this down at 31 um, percent opacity so it doesn't have to be a hundred percent and actually you know if the sky were to reflect onto her um, you know her face and her hair you'd see a little bit of it coming through so I'm going to pull down the opacity a little bit of my brush I don't want this to be too hard around her hairline and then I'm going to turn it on and off okay so as you can see it's still on her hair a little bit up here and then I'm going to switch um, pull this down I'm going to paint it back in because there is some white showing through and then I'm going to zoom out and see how that looks okay so now I have to fix my messy masking um, on my horizon line the opacity up I might lower it a little bit as it gets down to the horizon so it's not as dark and I'm just gonna paint this back on zoom in here make my brush a little bit smaller pull down the opacity and just paint a tiny bit around this building or house I should say that was in the background here and you know obviously this is pretty blurry in the background so it doesn't have to be exact On and off. Now I'm going to play with my opacity a little bit. Because, like I said, I don't want it to be too much. Now you could go really, really dark. And I mean, then if you're using it at this, uh, you know, this strength, it really matters um, how you're masking. Now you can see where I would have to go and really clean this up some more. But in this case, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to have it this dark. So I'm going to pull it back. And I kind of like it like that on and off. And that's pretty much it. That's the cloud overlay. Now, if I look at this overall image, you know, the, the tone and coloring of this part of the picture doesn't necessarily match. This guy, I, I chose this image kind of quickly um, because I was excited to get a video up for you guys. Um, but you get the idea. If I were to keep this image, I might change out the sky and make it not so purple, or I might play with some actions and add a more um, purpley tone, maybe add some haze, something to finish it off. But basically this will show you how to add a sky overlay. And that is it. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I will be adding more videos soon. Thank you.